So this is my new TV. That's the 65 inch Hisense U8G. Here we have the base menu of the TV. All your apps and info is stored here. You can customize apps and add them with the favorites. As an example, I'll go to YouTube. I actually owned the TV before this, which was the H9G. And that TV was pretty slow to navigate, but this TV is a lot snappier. You saw how fast YouTube loaded up. When you play back high quality material on this TV, it really shines. Just to show you an example here. Now when using the TV, I'd recommend to go to the menu and change the picture mode to theatre night as it's the most accurate picture mode. Go down here, change the sharpness to zero to eliminate any aliasing. There are some advanced settings in motion you can do. You can turn on motion enhancement which you'll probably need to set to film or clear if you're watching TV or film. You can set it for standard and smooth for sport. In all honesty though, having it off motion is pretty good. You do get judder but you do get that with every TV. The TV has very vibrant colours, it can get really bright, as high as 1800 nits in some modes. That makes watching HDR content on it striking. You'll probably see the camera of my phone can't really cope with the brightness of the TV. I'll exit out. Um, if we go to... Peacock TV to show you some sport so you can rate the motion on the TV. This is Peacock that's slow, not the TV by the way. It just seems to be really slow. If you get a problem like the app getting stuck like this, you can solve it. You have to go up to apps, 
go to your app that's not loading, go to info, for stop, just like on a phone, and then try and watch the app again. There we go. That's what I look like on the peacock. And I'll start showing you some so Okay, I'll go out and show you a popular show. That's what she like, Yellowstone. I didn't pay for Peacock Premium Plus, so I have to watch ads. This is only in HD and it looks pretty good upscaled. I can show you some of my personal content that I have stored on my media server through MB. Just have to wake the server. Sorry about the bird noise by the way. He was quiet before I started the video. And now started the video, he's decided to be loud. And this is just a clip from Lord of the Rings Ultra HD Blu ray. One of the things that's surprising about the TV is how good it sounds. It's not spectacular like a soundbar replacing sound, but it's very good for built in sound. contrast of the TV is very impressive because it uses a VA panel and it has a full array local dimming algorithm. I have the 65 inch model which has more zones than the 55 inch model. I definitely recommend getting the 65 inch if you can. Bigger is always better in terms of Ultra HD anyway. forward some con different content. If there's one complaint I have, it's that HDR on this TV is a bit too bright. Hisense could do with lowering the brightness 
the EOTF curve. The H9G didn't suffer from this, but it did in game mode. Otherwise, this is a great improvement on their last model. Just going to show you one last thing. Something that is perhaps poor on most Ultra HD TVs, especially larger ones. And that's the upscaling of standard definition content. To use a old documentary, for example. It's pretty fuzzy looking when it's not HD. HD is a bit softer than Ultra HD, but generally it does the job. I definitely suggest if you're buying a TV like this to use high quality content with it and not low quality because any high end TV is going to show its worst with lower quality content. you watch something in HD such as this motor racing you can see it's blurry still but it's good enough Those artifacts are part of the stream, they're not the TV. Motion is pretty smooth. And then, one last thing, if you watch videos like this it's incredible, because it makes you feel like you're actually there. The detail is amazing. Anyway, I definitely recommend this TV. There are a few things that Hisense could improve. I hope they improve them with firmware updates. I don't think you can find anything similar to this TV for the same kind of money. Competing TVs from other brands cost two, three times the amount for the same specifications. So you end up paying more, or you'll end up with a lower range TV. And it's just not worth doing that nowadays because there's so much HDR content available on streaming and discs and games that buying a cheaper TV just doesn't cut it with that material.